Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode 13 of season two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The last episode, let's just say the last couple of episodes, tensions have definitely been high, but Sky's secret has now been officially revealed for the rest of the team. Mac and Bobby are making their moves, and at the end of the episode, Hunter confronts them about what's been going on, and Mac takes him out. So I don't know what happens next with that, but let's just dive in and see what happens, because I feel like that's not going to be something we can kind of put off much longer after that little tussle. So let's go ahead and hop into this episode, guys. If you want to see the falling three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you've got Merrill's channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on movies to react to each month. We got month Q and A's, behind scenes footage, you're trying to make it worth your while, so you're going to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, to least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said, now the way let's go ahead and hop into episode 13 one of us here we go you called me a friend once i couldn't be a friend to you uh, is this carla Fay gideon got your name off the gifted index oh interesting oh, I'm, I'm sorry are you with shield i'll try not to be offended <laughs> How long has it been since you touched someone? Since you felt a sensation on your fingertips? Oh, that's what those are. We want to free you from these shackles. All you gotta do is say- I thought you... they were prosthetics. Oh, it's like, I'm not having none of what you're selling. Or maybe I will. You know, I just watched the, uh, the new trailer not that long ago for Fallout and I believe He's gonna be in it. I think I saw him. Oh, whoa, 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 what the? Don't you think it's time everyone learn how S.H.I.E.L.D. treats people like us? We're gonna teach them a lesson and we want you to join us. Her power is having scalpels on her fingers? It sounds like, I mean, it looks like somebody just implanted those on her I'm not powerful myself none of us are but together we're a force what do you say Amen. okay <laughs> i gotta say director no doubt the best grilled cheese i've ever had secret ingredient don't ask I will not disclose. <laughs> it's classified information. Hey, Joe, with all the monitoring. I barely notice it. We wouldn't subject you to it if it wasn't absolutely necessary. My entire life I've been searching for my parents, and my search ended with answers that are so much worse than I could have imagined. Twitchy, not all their dad, a dead mom. Alien mist that turned me into a walking natural disaster. A friend dead. Hey. Mm. His intentions were good. He wanted to protect a friend. From me? And how is that protecting her? Corrupting data, altering test results. Fitz and I shared science. It was sacred. Now that's changed too. I have to accept that he's different now and our relationship won't ever be what it was. A little early to sound the funeral bells, don't you think? <laughs> that's all now, Bobby. Mac, are you talking to Bobby? Tell her I take it all back. All the don't die out there. Sorry. Because I'd be better off if she had died out. <sighs> Sit tight, I'll arrange an extraction. You know where I'll be. And Mac, get him a beer or something. I mean, at least they're not killing him. Hey, we're in West Virginia. You show up asking for a favor, but when I called you after S.H.I.E.L.D. collapsed to check if you were all right, not a word. It was a busy time. If I do this, I have conditions. No observation, no monitoring, other than what's deemed medically necessary. My sessions with her are in private. My evaluation won't be. She gets a copy. My duty is to her, not S.H.I.E.L.D. Like I said, it's a different S.H.I.E.L.D. What's their history? The consultation fee's gone up. <laughs> I should have called you back. Nah, I talked to your mom. She told me you were alive. We had a nice talk. You invited me over for dinner. I'm not surprised. She still hasn't forgiven me for divorcing you. There it is. <laughs> Where are you trying to get to? Uh, well. Hi. Oh. Wow. Seriously, was she just born with with knife fingers? 
Like, it's not even like Freddy Krueger style stuff or Lady Deathstrike kind of stuff. Like, it's literally s just scalpels screwed into her fingers. We breaking into Arkham? Do we just cross universes? Just been informed of a break in at Bryn Moore Psychiatric Facility. Bryn Moore. Hunter didn't report in today. I offered him a permanent job. You think that has anything to do with his disappearance? Permanent isn't really Hunter's thing. Didn't think he scared so easily. Okay, I'll meet you down there. Yeah, he, he smelled something rotten about that response. Not that Sky's showing any signs. Her vitals currently are steady. Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that you were married. Now you do. Telling her emotions could lessen the destructiveness of her powers. A, a stopgap measure. Should probably meet her before writing a prescription. I'll take you to her. See, that's what we were worried about. That shit right there. Agent Simmons. My pleasure. Let me talk to her first. See, so I, I uh, Simmons' inability to see her fault in the in the relationship between her and Fitz, I. It just rubs me a little bit the wrong way. Treating him like he's the only one that did something wrong. They were, they both definitely have not been treating each other very well over these last couple of months. You'll like this one. Yeah, how do you know that? Because I was married to him. Tell me about the wedding. <laughs> not here to discuss my ex. Did you guys have actual conversations? You know, like pillow talk or was it just pillow with stern looks? How long are you going to do for it? Barely in, and out comes the psychobabble. It's not psychobabble, it's just a word that describes what you're doing. Look, I read your history. I know this isn't your first rodeo. Speaking of, the cavalry. You must know what really... Stop. The tone, something you both have in common. Why'd you shoot yourself? I did what I had to do to protect my team. Of course, you're an agent. May I imagine you must be afraid that you're gonna lose that. Hit that nail on the head real quick. The group used the chaos to tear through the facility, opening doors, releasing prisoners. Yeah, whoever did this did some serious damage to the system. I'm recovering what was recorded before the power went out. That was the same kind of, uh, well, Sky had a bracelet. Us. Oh, us. Yeah, we have to get geez. Into that sub -level basement now. But was that like basically like a form of what Sky had around in that bracelet just implanted in that one tech dude? Or has he got a tech power? became an obsession discovering creative ways to kill charming not as scary however as bachelor number two he's the jeez damn now where's bachelor number two colson <laughs> any idea what that means other than sky's father being crazy hmm what is this? <laughs> it's so funny. God, it reminds me of what was that? It was that animated uh, Suicide Squad movie where they were all just running around cross country in an RV. All work and no play. When I multitask, I make mistakes. Sounds Oof. like a story there. Yeah, a little bit. I stabbed them from. They're in the kitchen talking. Oh. What are they talking about? Meaning you guys will need to talk yourselves. No, it was uh, personal in nature. Seems that May isn't a good cook. Something Agent May doesn't excel at. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> she was laughing. And he makes her laugh. Clearly she still likes him. And have you seen the way he looks at her? Yeah, have I, Jim? Of course I've seen. I wonder what happened between them. Why end it? Mmm. It's almost like they're back to normal. Hey, Sky. Get me and Dr. Garner now. Damn it, Sky. Oh, dream. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. You're doing this. You're shaking the room. You need to stop it. Okay. Okay. If she needs a sedative. No, no, it's good. It's good. Stop it. Damn. Wendell Levi, genius level IQ, but no moral compass or regard for human life. Prefer my criminal stupid. Perfect. Forcing, so he got his hands on some experimental steroids. Left him incredibly strong. Brains, not so much. No, God doesn't give with both hands. <laughs> but they're not exactly gifted. 
They were considered yeah. really dangerous. Okay, that answers my question. So they were modified more than anything, not necessarily, Lasers yeah. Permanently grafted into her fingers. Okay, so they were grafted. Fight on. Could be a call to arms. Maybe he wants to wage war on us. But where? At a Denny's. I still have her. She isn't safe there. Losing a child. It, it tears you apart. <laughs> I'm still waiting to figure out what happened to him. <laughs> I couldn't protect the people I loved. So I tried to change, to improve myself with chemistry. Results okay. were inconsistent, some volatility issues. So he tried his own form of super soldier serum or some shit? The reason Hunter left wasn't the job offer, was it? Excuse me? You're a hard person to read. But Hunter isn't. How long have you two been sleeping together? Is this the right time to discuss this? If we were making any headway, I'd say no, but we're stuck. And when I'm stuck, it helps to do something else. Listen to music, twirl a baton, talk about something else. Twirl a baton. I want to see that. Just a cut to him in his office twirling around. I like to do that. It's fun. We got to hit on the license plate. Let me guess. In Wisconsin. How do you know that? Oh, who's who's in Wisconsin? Those damn cheerleaders. I always knew they were evil. Why Manitowoc, Wisconsin? Outlaws. Fight on. Oh. Oh. Under 70. He's making it personal. How are you doing that? May taught me. Focus on a single point. Let everything else become noise disappearing in the background. Except it doesn't disappear. You just pushing it aside, which is why when you were dreaming, the tremor started. What were you dreaming about? Fair enough. Remember. Seeming defensive. Because you keep pressing. Because whatever you were feeling was strong enough to shake this entire plane. How about you show me an ink blot and I'll tell you about my first time. <laughs> Humor. It's an effective way to avoid thinking about how monumentally painful your life is right now. Good pep talk. Thanks. Sarcasm. Same purpose. Avoiding yeah. strategy. What am I avoiding? That you're different now, that you have abilities. Abilities triggered by pain. And either you face that or you don't sleep again. Hey, he's not gonna hold back. I like it. I threw him a shaking. Right, which is why I need you to breathe. No, this isn't me. I'm not doing this. Wait, then. What? Hold on. Oh. Oh, right. They're leaving. Once I put the bus on auto. Talk to me. Oh, and they're on here. Shit. <laughs> I, um, not so fast. Make it count. Is he Black Bolt or some shit? <laughs> I missed his name when they said it, but like, I know his voice fucks with people. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like the way his mouth like Oh oh no. Oh no, all those birds they're dead. <laughs> At least like a person can survive just kind of passing out like that, but birds falling from that height, maybe not so much. Those are definitely broken bones and never getting up again. Soften me with, oh it was the best of times, or these are a few of my favorite things. What the hell are you and Bobby into, Mac? You'll know soon enough. I want to know now. Why don't you just leave? I'll tell you what I remember, Mac. Dubai was a cover, and because I wasn't shield, you didn't tell me. Lies. That's what I remember. Mm. And me and Sky, we do what? Same as if we were on base. Stay in the cage, continue your evaluation. That's so not gonna happen. This is not a negotiation, Sky. He said she needs to confront her fears. So let's go do it. Look, you put me on the index. You're doing my intake assessment. How about we let my dad know? Is this your high school? Also, it takes it back to that focusing on one point, one thing and letting out everything else fade away. What if that one thing is her father and she could channel that shit right at him? Tonight's game is being simulcast live over AM 520. W-A-S-Y, your local sports radio. What's he doing? What the fuck, dude? Let's welcome Phil Coulson to the field. 
Five of them, two of us. We wait for May. Oh, he already knows May's probably on her way. Plotting to kill for two and a half decades. Disappointment. Come out, come out, wherever you are. We're waiting. You seem. <sighs> no one else needs to get hurt. Let them go. They can't go anywhere. One wrong move and she's gonna tickle him. We want everyone to know what you do to people like us. We want you to stop before you do it to her. I'm talking about her? Oh! <laughs> we put her on the index. Now we decide. Contain her or put her down. Your call. Interesting play. Talk to me, not her. Now you let these people go or your daughter dies. No, 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 no. I can't lose you again. Don't you see what they do? Using his, uh, they're, they're using his weakness against him right now. So tell me, what's your thing? I mean, I was hoping it was wings. Talk to me, not her. I was hoping it was wings. Oh, oh. Not, not crawler? Not crawler. Is this shield also part of his power too? Or is it like a co, like a team up move? I don't know why he wasted his time running for the microphone when he doesn't need it. He just let himself get beat there. Just clubbed her right in the shin. Dude, May's kicking this dude's ass, super strength or not. She's gonna hone it in. Hell yeah. Oh no, wait, what? What? Does holding it back damage her body? You're awake. Is that why they're... The bruising was caused by capillary ruptures in your arms. X-rays showed more than 75 hairline fractures from your clavicle to your face. Oh. <laughs> when she stopped it, she's turning it on herself. What do you mean, other? The gifted is both insufficient and too broad. Enhanced is what I would suggest we call people like David Angar, Mike Peterson, people whose gifts were man-made. Sky, Raina. They're inhuman. We need to understand more about their powers, especially how to stop them in case that becomes necessary. This is a priority, Agent Simmons. Understood, sir. And Agent Simmons, keep this between us. God, more fucking secrets. All right, sir, let's go. Oh my god. Who the hell are you working for? Shield. The real shield. What? Hold on. What? Huh? She needs you. She needs to be away from those animals that have her. What we do is none of your concern. I'm protecting us from S.H.I.E.L.D. There is no us. You're not one of us. You're a science experiment. So what happens to me then? That's not for me to decide. God damn it. All right, man. Another fantastic little episode, though. Goofy as fuck with this little crew that Sky's father rallied together to kind of go on his little crusade to draw out Coulson and get his little revenge. The super strong guy, I get. The guy who can knock people out with his voice, I get. The tech guy, I get. Lady Knife Fingers, why are you here? <laughs> like, he would be just as effective just holding a knife himself or giving any of them a knife themselves. <laughs> It's it's hilarious. Like the moment a confrontation came up where it wasn't a distracted guard, so that she could sneak up and slice his throat, she just got her ass beat. There was absolutely nothing she could contribute here. 
Oh my God. I don't know if these are actual comic book characters. The one guy I thought was like a knockoff Black Bolt, his just paralyzes people, knocks them unconscious or whatever, like he said, affects the nervous system. So it's just a really nerfed version of that. But yeah, I don't know. It, it was interesting like that they have this, not even interesting, like it's very obvious because like Captain America, I guess, would fall in the category of enhanced, you know, people that are, you know, just humans who have had scientific alterations that made them more than normal, you know, whether it be additions or just alteration changes, whatever. And then there's Sky and Reyna who were just born different. Like they have something extra at birth and this has just been awakened. And this is kind of a way to differentiate that, but she didn't give a name to that. And I wonder if we're just kind of holding off on that, but you know, again, like she's like, we need to, and I get where she's coming from, you know, it's like the sedative and all this stuff, but it goes back to like not addressing the problem. It's just covering it up. It's exactly, it's the medical equivalent of what Sky is doing with her humor, her sarcasm, her deflection. That's all that is. It's not fixing a damn thing. It's just ignoring the problem, putting it away for a minute, except for the dream thing. I think that's the only thing that really would be something that needs to be addressed because at least at that point, it's definitely outside of Sky's control. Now, every time she calms herself down and uh, stops these quakes, has it been affecting her body when she does that? Or is it just this one time where she was seeing all of them fighting you know, tooth and nail for her, did that cause her to then reflect on herself as the target of her intent? When she was reining it in, this time she targeted herself because that's how she was feeling. Or is every time she's been doing this, she's been hairline fracturing her own body, damaging herself. So is there no way to, I, I, I mean, there's multiple seasons of this. There's no way, there's not a way to get it under control. There's gotta be a way to calm, calm it down and not direct it at herself. Just stop it outright and then hone it in. And I'm wondering how we, we're going to achieve that you know, as much as Simmons understandably is upset with Fitz for altering, you know, test results, blood samples, their data to hide what was going on with Sky, I do feel like he was perfectly within his rights. As much as I am against secrets and everything going on in this group, like people keeping secrets from one another, we're doing it again. Coulson is doing it again. We These things never stay in the dark. They always come out eventually. I don't know why he feels the need to keep this from the people that matters the most to. Like, it's just, he's not learning, but he's just like, hey, we gotta keep this between us, but we need to figure out if we can't get this under control, how to neutralize Sky or and Reyna as well. Whatever it is that makes them tick. So she's put her on that task, which is kind of what she's already been wanting to do to begin with, but now she's kind of been given the green light, but he doesn't want anybody else to know. And now, once again, she's the one keeping the secret about what is going on and further proves that Fitz was in the right for what he was doing because this is the route that's happening. But I mean, you could also argue that had he been forthright about that, we wouldn't be in this situation, but then I guarantee we would be right back here anyway. Where she was upset about him about what happened too, I mean, rightfully, like she's not innocent in the situation at all and why things are different, obviously with what happened with what Ward did to them and how they survived the encounter and what that did to Fitz, you know, her avoidance of that issue and the way that she's been treating him as well. It's a two way street, man. Neither one of them is on the high road in this situation, no matter what, like, but like for her to put herself above what he's done for Sky, and I don't think she's holding herself accountable for her part in why he did what he did. All that aside, when it came down to it, when they were distracted talking about May and what they've learned about her and her ex-husband and what they were talking about, when they weren't talking about the work or what was going on between them, for just a moment, we had a little bit of what they used to be like together. Like their dynamic just flipped right into it when they're not thinking about it, when they're just letting the instincts fly, they were right back into their groove and their banter. And I hope that's it's a sign that maybe we can get there and not that, you know, this could be there and then we're going to lose that even more with more secrets. And then what is this, the real shield thing? Fury came to Coulson and set this whole thing up. Whoever they're working for is what? Who? 
Like, do they truly believe Coulson's shield is not the real shield and that's why they're there to steal Nick Fury's shit? Are they working for a Nick Fury clone? Nick Fury lie to Coulson? Do we have rival shield agencies? Like, Coulson was handed the keys by the man himself. Maybe the remnants that were not Hydra, but still S.H.I.E.L.D. see themselves as the ones trying to rebuild it. So we have competing S.H.I.E.L.D.s and they think they're the real one and Coulson's the fraud, which that just should sound insane to anybody that knows anything about their own organization. I don't know what that's about, man. That was a big old twist rooney that I, I can't wait to see how they explain that. But overall, a fun episode. I like getting, once again, a deeper exploration of May and her past as well as her coping mechanisms and the pros and cons of her approach to certain situations. Cause I think we do see it in the way that things have panned out with her as well. But then the way that he came in here is kind of a counterbalance to that, but obviously they lead to life that just doesn't really make for good meshing and a healthier dynamic to exist between the two of them. Obviously we don't know the full range of events that led to them separating, but obviously May's priorities were a conflict and the way that she was dealing with certain things obviously I think we're a part of that as well but you know it's like there are good things in what she's teaching you I like how you address that but it's like there, but with all of that comes the negatives you're not really tackling head-on the actual problem itself and we got to dig into that and like they're, ke they're keeping him around at for that purpose I don't know we'll dig into it and we'll see what happens but you know, Sky's father has now been kidnapped by Knotcrawler and he's back at uh, wherever their little hideaway is, where Reyna, I presume, was also taken, where the other people like them are, I guess, hiding, working together, hiding in the shadows, whatever they got going on, cooking up here, carrying on the mission that Sky's mother left behind. But they brought him here for some reason and not Sky, but they were just like, hey, you're uh, causing too much of a stir. You know, we're trying to stay on the down low and you're just bringing too much attention our way. And I guess they wanted to silence him, but not pick up Sky when he had a prime opportunity to do so. That all said, guys, another solid episode. But what did you all think? Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We're carrying the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you come to the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share Ryan, Karen, Yorick, Horace, Scott, Melito, Robert Angriano, Jeffrey L., Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.